Hello everyone. Now it is the time for us to understand controller. Now before we go for controller, let us uh, try to understand what is module. Basically, our project is divided into some logical units called as modules. Say we have an admin module, we have some common module, we have some user module, we have some HR module if it is uh, HR project. So we have various modules in our project. So each module will be having a namespace, associated namespace. So you can take the similar sense here. So module is a kind of namespace. So in each module you have set of classes. So here what we have in each module you have set of controllers. So controllers are similar to your classes. So if you are talking about server side code it is a class. If it is client side it is a controller. On server side say it is a namespace and here it is a module so a module is a logical unit it is a collection of controllers some directives filters and XYZ so now let us see that our application is logically divided into multiple units called as modules module is a collection of controllers and many other parts of the application like namespace is a collection of classes so here module is a namespace if you assume it is a namespace, then it is a collection of controllers and directives and filters and many more things. So how do I define module? Normally I define module in the script, JavaScript file. So this is how I define module, angular.module and name of the module. And this module is depending upon some dependencies. So we will understand slowly. As of now, let us think that uh, my module name is my app and this is how I define module and I'll give it a reference or a name, say app. So how do I map this module to my view? So using ng app. So you can see that assigning module to the view. So this is how I assign name of the module is whatever we have given in single quotation is my app and this is how I map ng app equals to my app next is controller as I told you this module will have set of controllers or say similar to classes so in JavaScript a function is a controller that's it we write JavaScript functions so that is controller in simple terms controller is a javascript function and its job is to prepare models that should be rendered on the pages so views so you have mvc concept here so the job of controller is to prepare models that should be rendered on html page that is view so how do i create model or how do i create controller same we have module now i'll say this app now this module has a controller name of the controller is say employee controller or whatever it may be then i define a function with a scope object now what is the scope object we'll understand in, in a short while so i write my functionality logic and i close the brackets so this is how i define controller now how do i map controller using ng controller directive let us see even that now this is my ng app with this module and the body has a diff tag and the controller is so and so this is how i map i i use ng controller and map to employee controller dollar scope what is dollar scope it is an object it is an object which stores the model so that i can render it on the view so you can i can you can simulate this with view bag or view data we store the values in view bag or view data in our controller then we access them on CS HTML pages using view bag view data so in the same way we store the values in this scope object and we access the values even though we do not use the scope while accessing it but the concept is similar so dollar scope is an object which holds the data and it is used to bind data between HTML pages and controller. So view and controller, I want to bind. So 
can see this I say scope dot my value so in this scope I am storing my value as a variable or a model and storing this value for that how do I use it no, this should show everything so this is module this is a controller and this is a model that I am trying to access now let us see a demo for this controller so I'll just go for file new project and name it as my first controller example I'll go for MVC app so here you can see that this is a controller for client so client side controller so it is a JavaScript function server side controller it is a C sharp class so first of all I'll just go for adding angular JS so angular JS core I'm going to install that Let's close then I'll add an HTML file so I'll name it as home and here I'm going to drag and drop angular JS main so in this script file I'm going to add another script file I'll say add JavaScript file name it as my app so first of all I want to define module so I'll say where app equals to angular dot module and name it as my app and it is going to depend on some dependencies save this now how do I map first of all I need to give a reference my app then here I'll say ng hyphen app equals to my app name is my app now let us first of all see whether it is working fine 2 plus 3 the expression should display 5 then it's fine so it's fine we are setting up correctly next is adding controller to this module so I'll say app dot controller and name of the controller my controller then it should have function with dollar scope variable so in this as a dollar okay first of all let us map this controller to a div tag I'll say ng hyphen controller equals to my controller let us put this expression here and see if it is working fine so yes things are going fine now I'm going to define a model here so that is dollar scope dot my value equals to welcome to MTT Manzur the trainer now I want to display this value over here so what I can do I can simply go for an expression I can say my value or I can go for input type equals to text and ng model equals to my value that's it now hope it works yes it is working so this is the value welcome to MTT or welcome to MTT if I change the value over here it is changing over there 
तो चेंजेस इन द व्यू विल मेक ए चेंज इन द मॉडल सो वी आर सक्सेसफुली सेट अप विथ ए कंट्रोलर विथ ए मॉड्यूल एंड द डेटा दैट वी आर ट्राइंग टू स्टोर और द मॉडल दैट वी आर ट्राइंग टू स्टोर विद द हेल्प ऑफ स्कोप ऑब्जेक्ट एंड वी आर यूजिंग इट ओवर हियर माई वैल सो थिंग्स आर वर्किंग सक्सेसफुली से दिस वैल्यू इज ट्रू and here i'll say execute this and let us check that value so it is true here i can use it for if tag ng hyphen show equals to my value welcome so true so it is showing that value if i delete this so if it is nothing null then it is false so it will hide it so it displays welcome so that's it for this video thank you very much